Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna check out the ClickFunnels 2.0 order form, or as they call it, the checkout element. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here I am in a page, and I wanna go ahead and add the order form or checkout element. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new element, and we can navigate to order right here. And we see that they have the checkout element. They also have a legacy checkout element. Now, anything that says legacy kind of makes me nervous because I don't know when they're gonna stop supporting it. So I don't recommend using this one, even though there are a few more features in the legacy one. You have a little bit more control over things. I would recommend going with the checkout element because that's what they're currently pushing and supporting. So this is what we're gonna focus on in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and drag it over here. And let's go ahead and hover over it and click on our settings here and we'll start going through things. So right away, we see a checkout preview. So we have step one of two. We also see step two of two. So we can see what you know step two looks like of our two-step order form here. Then there's returning customer. So this would be what the order form would look like if we have information on the customer when they're visiting the page. You can see that it automatically pulls in like their contact information, their billing information, and so on. So that way they can more easily check out. So this checkout element in ClickFunnels 2.0 is very dynamic and it's used in a lot of different places. So it's used on your order form pages and it can store information like you see here. But the same element will also be used in your upsell and downsell and upgrade and downgrade pages as well. It's like an all-encompassing order form that'll change depending on what customer information you have or where it's located within your sales funnels. So this would be a returning customer, but on the same like order form page. Then there's an upgrade and down downgrade view. So this would be if somebody's upgrading or downgrading like their membership to your site or something like that. And then there's also the one-time offer view. And so this is what it would look like if you're using the order element on an upsell or an OTO or a downsell page. This is what it would look like. So the, again, it's the same element used for all the different steps in your funnel and it'll change automatically depending on the customer information you have and the page of the funnel that it's on. So in my funnel videos, you'll see how the order form changes as people go through the funnel. But right now we're gonna focus on just setting this thing up so we can get it working. But in this video, we're just gonna focus on some of the different aspects and how we can change how it looks and feels and flows and all that other type of stuff. So I'm gonna go back to step one here. And then we have general styles. So here's the general, you know, coloration of my order form. And we can, you know, change the margins and the textiles and all that type of stuff that you're probably familiar with in editing within ClickFunnels. For me personally, I think that this gray is too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my background color to white right here. So that's a little bit cleaner. And back into general styles. And so changing the look and feel of it is pretty self-explanatory at this point. So I'm not gonna go into too much more detail, but do note that there's also the inputs over here. So if you want to change your input fields, you would just you know go over to this area and then you could go ahead and change how your input fields are displayed and make it make sense for your particular business design and all that type of stuff. I wanna go ahead and hit back now. So that was general styles. Coming over to checkout steps. Here's where we can go ahead and change the step style of our order form. So right now we have a two step, right? We have shipping and then payment info. We could do a one step order form where everything is just all right here on one order form. Additionally, there is a three step order form. So we have select your product, shipping, payment, and so on. There's also step direction. So right here we have horizontal, right? Because we're going from one step to the next step horizontally. There's also vertical. So this is, would be the vertical view. So we have select your product and then they'd go down to shipping and then they go down to payment. So depending on, again, how you want it to look, you could go ahead and select the various options. I'm gonna go with the two step horizontal and then we get into current step style. So we have arrow within, which would be this little arrow looking thing, but we could also do arrow below. So it looks like that and so on. So you can just change the look and feel of it. I guess shipping, that would change right here. So maybe instead of shipping, I wanna do billing and billing or maybe contact or something like that. You know, whatever makes sense. Like if I'm selling digital products, I don't need to don't need it to say shipping. I would have it say, you know, billing information. Coming on down, we can adjust the color. So this is what it looks like when we're on the active step and then the inactive step right here. So maybe I want the background white for inactive step or maybe I want it black and we can change the font headline color to white or something like that. So kind of Halloween-y looking, but you get the idea of how you can change it however you want. 
And then we have the privacy policy text, so we can you can go ahead and change that to suit your particular needs. And all the while, you can of course change your preview if you want to. So this is what it would look like on step two with my current settings that I've changed. So my different colors, this is what it would go ahead and look like. So you can preview all the way through how your order form's gonna look. So I'm gonna go back now. Next we have the contact form. So we'll select into here and there's not much you can really change. These fields are dynamically populated and I think it has to do with Payments AI integration. Payments AI needs certain information in order to process orders. And so that's where these fields come from. So hopefully they add some features or functions in the near future where you can go ahead and change the fields that are required. But like right now you have to have a phone number and you can't get rid of last name or anything. So you do have to collect probably more information than you need. And that of course may hinder some conversions, but really if somebody's buying something, putting in a phone number is probably like one of the least of their concerns. But typically I don't want to collect somebody's phone number unless it's for like a coaching session or some reason to call them because you know that's just kind of sensitive information that people don't want to give out. Additionally, there's shipping information or billing information that'll be collected as well. And you can't get rid of that field at this point in time. So no real options in here, but we could go ahead and get rid of this headline where it says shipping information right here. I can go ahead and turn that off. And so then it just flows in. It looks like contact information or billing info. Coming back out here, we can go to product select now. And here I can go ahead and select what product I want to include in my funnel. Now, so I'll go ahead and click on edit products and you can see that I already have main product in here, but I could go ahead and select it if I want to. And there we go. And I can add multiple products as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add another product and I'm just going to go ahead and add this ClickFunnels 2.0 course product that I have. So now we have two separate products that somebody could choose between on this order form. There's a gear icon as well where we could go ahead and change the title. Like if we don't want the title of our course to be main product, we could be like fitness product. And then it would show fitness product instead of main product. And we can also change the description as well. There's also product is an order bump. We'll talk about bumps in just a second here. Allow contacts to upgrade existing order. Yes, allow contacts to downgrade existing orders. No, and I'm not exactly sure what those two options do. I just leave them as the default and things seem to work okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and up date included product and we're actually going to go ahead and add another product real quick and we'll go ahead and add our bump product and we'll click on the gear icon and I'm going to call this video version and then I'm going to select the product is an order bump get the video version of the course and we'll go ahead and update included product and there we go we now have a bump product there's also options to change how people select the products. So right now it's single product, which means they could only select one or the other, but we could go ahead and change it to where they can select multiple products if they want to. So they could select both to buy both products. And there's also the option for them to select multiple products with quantity. Now the form preview is not updating right now, but it is changing the different settings. I'll go ahead and do multiple products with checkboxes. And then the bump products quantity type, so it's single product or the same options here. So I'm going to go ahead and do multiple products with quantity. And we'll go ahead and update. And now you can see that my form updated over here. So they could select both products if they want to. They could select the fitness product and the ClickFunnels 2.0 course. And then they also have this bump product down here where they could go ahead and change the quantity. Now, of course, it doesn't make sense to buy multiple digital courses, but if you're selling a physical product and you want to be able to offer quantities, you could go ahead and make that option available to your customers. So that's the product select piece. Let's click back into product select. And you could also change the select product wording if you want. So it says select product right there. You could change that. And you could also change the product select like view. So we have classic right now. This is modern, this is grid. And so you can make it, you know, how you want it to be. There's also advanced settings. So you could go ahead and change the headline size or the description size or image size and so on. So if you wanna make it a little bit bigger or something like that, you could go ahead and adjust it just like that. So pretty self-explanatory stuff. And that kind of wraps up the product select area. We also have shipping options. So shipping options are down here delivery information. So we have standard or next day. And since I'm selling digital products, I don't need to collect this shipping option information. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. But if you do have shipping, you have gotta set it up within inside of your ClickFunnels dashboard. And then it'll present the shipping options that you have available in there. And I'll have another video on shipping. So you can look for that in on my channel. Let's come back out here. So up next we have payment method and not a lot to choose from right here. So we can just change the input size. 
and we could also change the font family so nothing real significant to to decide coming on down we have order bumps so we do have one of those and we can change how that looks right now we have some classic bump styling we could also make it modern and that didn't actually change the preview over here but maybe when i save it it will adjust we could go ahead and change the colors as well like i don't want this to be you know that dark gray it's like not it's too too dark so i could go ahead and make it light like that and we click back in we could go ahead and add a shadow here so it kind of stands out a little bit more and i could go ahead and edit the text real quick and put some more salesy or marketing friendly content around my bump so this is a one time offer you can't get this anywhere else full length video course and so there you go you know spice it up a little bit for your bump let's come back in here and then we get down to buttons and so we can go ahead and change how our buttons look i'm going to go back to step one of two so you can see step one button says next we could change it to next step and there's also subtext as well continue so something like that i don't know why the subtext is bigger than the main text we might be able to adjust that, but you get the idea. Uh, then we have the guest submit text. So that would be on step two. So it says submit, and we could go ahead and change it to like place order or whatever it might be. We have the save button text. So this would be if somebody is a returning customer. So we have rush my order right here. So we could go ahead and change that. Additionally, it's for one-time offer. So you see rush my order right here. So this would show up on your one-time offer pages. And then we also have upgrade and downgrade pages and you can see upgrade and downgrade button right here. So if you have an upgrade or downgrade funnel page, you could go ahead and adjust the text right there. We also have submit redirect overrides. So this can be useful if you don't want to bring somebody to the next step in your funnel. And in my funnel building video, we'll actually use this option on our one-time offer pages. So that way if they decline our offer, we can take them to another page. So you'll see that later on. You could also go ahead and uh, add terms and conditions if you need to do something like that. And I think that shows up on page or step two. Yeah, so there's a terms of service right there and you can go ahead and edit that text as you see fit. Downsell link button. So this is what would show up on your OTO and downsell pages. So if we went to the OTO page, you could see the option for no, I don't want this. And you could change this text to go somewhere else. So you could take them to another offer or something like that. And scrolling on down here, we have the button style. So you could change you know, how your buttons look if you want to do that. Some of our predefined styles that I address in the style guide video, link in the description down below but we could add padding around our buttons and so on. You could edit the style, etc. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here and I'm gonna go back to our step one of two preview. And of course there's the visibility options as well. So you can make it desktop only or mobile only and so on. We also have advanced right here. So if you wanna add an animation or you know some CSS and want to go ahead and assign it to this particular element, you could go ahead and do that right here. There's templates as well. So if you don't want this template, you could go ahead and use one of the pre-built ones within ClickFunnels. So if you're like, that one looks pretty, you can go ahead and use that one instead. Then you could go ahead and reset it and it'll reset it completely to the default one. So if you make changes to your template and customize it how you want, if you click this reset button, it's going to reset all the way to the very beginning. So be careful, click and reset, unless you want to reset completely to the initial settings of your order form. And then finally, we do have conditions, and this is above the scope of this video and my intelligence level. And so that is it for the order form or the checkout element within ClickFunnels 2.0. If you're hoping to see other aspects, then I have lots of other ClickFunnels 2.0 videos on my channel. Please check them out. Otherwise, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that, and or head over to crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.